Hey guys, World War II Solitaire board game channel here, and today I'm gonna show you how to play D Day Dice Pocket. Alright, so basically, you have six different beaches which you can choose to attack, and it's Utah Beach, Gold Beach, Juno Beach, Sword Beach, Omaha Beach, and Point to Hawk. They are all the same except for the fourth stage which will be the gauntlet and the rules for the gauntlet are described here we'll get into that later so first you have to choose the beach and we're going to play the first one which is going to be utah beach and like i said every beach has six stages so the stages will be the landing zone barriers rallying point gauntlet bluffs and bunker for each stage you will roll one axis dice so, for the first stage you would roll 2, for the second stage you would roll 2, sorry, for the first one you would roll 1, and for the second you would roll 2, all the way up to 6 for the last stage. And like I said, the only way they are different is from the gauntlet, which is stage number 4. Uh, you have your beach die here, which you're going to progress as you progress, all the way from 1 up to 6 okay so the game the way the game works is you will roll your axis dice first so for the first stage you would obviously roll one and it's a lonely soldier you will always have your six uh, ally dice which you get to roll and you need to match every axis dice. So I'm rolling six. And as you see now, I didn't get any soldier. You get to re-roll all or any which you want dice two times. So this time I see that I'm close to getting a score here. I'm going to show you that later. So I'm going to choose to save these for later. And I'm rolling again. And I got the score which I wanted, and I also got the soldier. I'm gonna go ahead and re-roll these two as well because I could get also a uh, free soldiers of different colors, but I didn't. All right, so I matched him, and that means I cleared this part of the beach, but I also rolled three uh, skulls in different colors meaning I will get this card I have rallied this specialist the medic so that's also a part of the game if you roll three of the same icon in different colors you will rally a corporal a captain a general an engineer a hero or a medic you can also uh, rally a veteran and that's by rolling every single symbol with your six dice but we got the medic this turn and they have different abilities the medic as you can see here you can sacrifice him and you will get to re-roll your dice in step number three step number three is after you have rolled for the first time or no that's uh, actually when you roll your ally dice for the first time sorry so we will progress the game so we go to step number two which is barriers and the axis will roll two dice this time and they get a skull and two soldiers so that's what we need to match i'm rolling my ally dice and as you can see, I've already met the condition. I also rallied a specialist, but I already have that one. So I'm going to take out this dice and this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and re-roll two times to see if I rally a specialist. Rolling a second time. And I didn't rally a specialist, but I managed to beat the second stage. So we're on the third stage now, so we're going to roll three axis dice. And we got a metal, a wrench, and a star. So we're going to have to match that. Uh, 
we got uh, two here so I'm gonna save I'm gonna save both of them I think yeah and I'm rolling two times I got the metal and now I need a star Woohoo! I got the star. I didn't get any combo, which I was hoping for to get the combo to rally an engineer. But I got the needed dice to clear the stage. So, the first stage has been cleared. So now we're moving up to stage number four, which is going to be the gauntlet. And the gauntlet is how the beaches change. So in Utah Beach, which we're currently playing, no specialist may be rallied, meaning I can't win any of these cards this turn. In the Gold Beach, beach at least one player must roll a combo RWB, that's when you rally a specialist here, or the sector must be replayed. In Uno Beach, if any player rolls on a combo, you must roll 6 axis dice next, in next sector instead of 5. Sword Beach, lose one specialist at start of step 8. If you have no specialist to lose, the game is lost. On Omaha Beach in the gauntlet, in this sector you will roll 5 axis dice instead of 4. And in Point of Hawk, allied uh, skulls, that's these ones, uh, cannot be re-rolled, but may be changed by specialist. So that's the only way these 6 beaches differ from each other. So, we're going to roll four axis dice. We got a skull, a wrench, and a star. And a soldier. So we need to match that again. Alright, so we got a star. We got a skull. We got a soldier. Oh, we got a combo. But remember, we can't rally anyone, otherwise we would have gotten the General, which is a very good one. But unfortunately we didn't get that one. We still need a wrench, and we have two more rolls. Nope. We have one more roll. And we got the wrench. So, we have cleared this level. Moving on to level 5, which is going to be the Bluffs. And we roll five axis dice this time. Almost one of each. Oof. I believe it was a lonely soldier. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. This is a how to play video, not a playthrough. So I need to match this. And let's see. I got a star. I got a skull and I got a metal now I need a wrench and a lonely soldier I got a lonely soldier still need a wrench and I didn't get one so now I would have lost if it wasn't for the fact that I have my medic sacrifice the medic all players ignore their dice and restart the sector at step 3 so I'm sacrificing my medic and I get to re-roll my dice again. So I got the wrench this time, the lonely soldier, the metal, and that's it. Still need the skull and the star. I got my skull and now I need to roll the star or I have lost. Nope, no star. So I lost the game unfortunately at stage number five. So this is stage number five and stage number six would be the bunker and simply the bunker would be six uh, axis dice. So as you can see it's important to try to rally your specialist in the early stages. You have to take the risk to try to rally them otherwise it's gonna be hard to win those last stages so that's the day dice pocket but there is more there are two optional rules so 
So the first optional rule is the commandant, which is described in the rules. And basically it's just one dice. This dice represents a German officer and in the commandant rules he will be rolled instead of one of the grey axis dice in every bunker stage. And when you roll it, this symbol has to be mashed two times. I think it's a little bit strange rule, because you still have five grey axis dice to counter, and this one would be two, so you would have to counter seven axis dice, but you only have six. So I don't really know, uh, I think the rule is strange, uh, because basically you can't win, but there is one way to prevent the commandant from deploying, and that's to sacrifice a specialist in the in the uh, in the bunker stage. So you basically you will get rid of one, lose one, and the commandant will not deploy. So I think it's a strange rule because they could have just said like, "Hey, let's uh, make a hard rule that uh, you have to sacrifice one uh, one com one specialist, or you will lose the game in in the bunker." Because, I mean, if he is deployed, you will lose. So you will actually never really roll him. Uh, or you might do it, but, I mean, obviously you're not going to be able to counter it because you have six dice and with him in play in the bunker, you're going to need uh, seven. So, anyway, sorry about going, going into detail too much about that, but that is the Commandant rule. He will always be deployed in the bunker. The only way to prevent him from deploying is by... Uh, sacrificing a specialist during that stage. Okay, so that's the Commandant, but then you also have Advanced Beaches. And I think this is a little bit fun. There's a card for every beach. There's Utah, uh, Gold Beach, Juno Beach, uh, Beach, and then on the back side we have Sore Beach, Omaha, and Point to Hawk. And basically how it works is that every sector is, is um, unique. So if we look at, uh, I'm going to do Utah Beach for you here again. So if you look at the landing, which is the first step, let's change the die here. Uh, if you have no general at the end of step six, roll one additional axis die next sector. So I'm going to have to uh, recruit a general or next sector is going to be harder. So I'm rolling one axis dies. It's a wrench. Rolling my six. And I did get the wrench, but I also need to get that general. So I'm going to reroll these and hope for some stars. I got one white star, now I need a blue star. Oh, I got the blue star, look at that. Okay, so I have recruited the general and what he does is all players can change the result of one of their dice, but not the color. So I successfully managed to recruit, uh, let's put him here where you can see him, the general, which means that I will not have to roll extra dice next turn. However, in the barriers, players are not allowed to re-roll their white dice. That's the barriers of Utah Beach. Okay, so we're in step number two now, and we're rolling two axis dice. It's two soldiers. And we roll our dice. And we didn't get any soldiers. And remember, in this step, because of advanced beach rules, we can't re-roll our white dice. Roll them one more time. I got one of them. And I have one more roll. And I got one more. Unfortunately, I didn't get any combo. But I did manage to clear this stage. So we're moving up one more now from barriers to the rallying point. And we'll look at our advanced beach card again. And it says add a star to the axis dice here. So the axis will roll three dice, but they will have a star from the beginning. So it's gonna be four that I need to counter. Oops, I rolled too many, sorry. I need to roll three dice. So we get a wrench, a medal, and two soldiers. 
plus the star. Let's see if we can count it. We got our wrench and we got our star. But we need our two soldiers and metal as well. Okay, we got our two soldiers. Let's see if we can get the metal. And we got our metal. So we have survived another turn on to the gauntlet and the gauntlet we still have to follow these rules here so the gauntlet from the gauntlet card no specialist may be rallied so i'm not going to be able to recruit anyone here and here we see the advanced beach card your squad loses one specialist for each skull in the axis dice if you have no specialist left ignore this all right so i'm gonna roll for the gauntlet, which is the fourth part, I'm rolling four axis dice. And we got a skull, unfortunately, so I'm gonna lose my general. I didn't even get to use them, and three uh, wrenches. This is gonna be tough. All right, we didn't get any wrenches. Tough luck. Try again. That's one wrench. I need to roll two wrenches now, or I have lost. I got one wrench. I needed two of them. So this is my final roll. I wasn't able to match it. I have lost the game. All right. So that's it for the advanced game mode. You can also, there is two optional rules, there's the Operation Neptune and that just means that for a longer game you can play all the six uh, beaches uh, in numerical order uh, from, from Utah all the way to Point to the Hawk and once a beach is conquered you will return all the specialists so basically it's just playing all the beaches like you would in normal. Uh, the second one is Advanced Solo Beaches uh, after selecting your beach, you will roll two dice, and from that, you will choose one of these to rally. Here you could rally a medic, here you could rally a corporal. If you would get uh, two of these, that would mean you would rally a veteran instead. Uh, or you, basically, you, if you get two of the same, you can choose to roll a veteran, or you can choose the corporal, whichever you like. So those are the optional rules for this game and I'm going to go ahead and show you all of these cards of the specialists because there are not so many of them. So you have the corporal and he will add one uh, lonely soldier to your final tally. The captain, all players can change the color of one of their dice but not the result. The general which I shown you earlier, all players can change the result of one of their dice. Medic, oh, I also showed you this one. Sacrifice the medic, all players ignored uh, their dice and restart the sector at step 3, which means you will roll again. Engineer, this one is a nice uh, one. Wrench in the final tally of all players can be changed to any color and result. So you can change one wrench to anything you want. You have the hero, you will sacrifice him and you will automatically clear the sector which you're in. Nice in the bunker. You have the veteran. Uh, when you gain that, if you roll uh, straight again, meaning every symbol, you automatically clear the current sector. This one I don't like very much because rolling those straights are very, uh, very rare. If, I guess if you play in co-op, it's going to be a bigger chance. But if you play alone, it's kind of worthless. Uh, so that's one you might want to sacrifice if you have two. And finally, you have the different sectors. Uh, I got to this stage, you can see here it would be roll 4 axis dice, uh, here all players must roll one less ally die. Uh, on the bunker, if any player rolls an or uh, a combo here, the game is lost. And on the advanced beach, all of these uh, unique sectors will be different in, in some way. So that's, that's, I mean, this is very challenging with advanced beaches, uh, but it's more fun than playing the normal mode because the normal mode, all the beaches are just the same except for the gauntlets, which uh, 
is you know just one out of six steps all right guys so that's d-day dice if you have any comments about the rules or tactics or if you think i made an error on some rule give me a comment uh, please do subscribe and uh, you have a good day all right bye